So I get comments like this one referring to how tight my drag is fairly frequently when I upload sheep's head content. So the thing about sheep's head fishing is naturally you're gonna be fishing for these guys around heavy structure like bridge pilings usually covered in oysters because that's what they're eating and why they're on that bridge structure in the first place. Now those oysters are razor sharp and they'll cut your line as soon as it comes in contact with them. And what's the first thing that a sheep's head does when you set a hook in it? That's right, it tries to run back into the structure. So the reason that I fish for sheep's head with my drag as tight as I do is because I wanna minimize the amount of opportunities that that fish is gonna to have to run my line back to that structure and break off. Any drag that you give to that fish is just that much more opportunity for him to be able to get you back into that structure. These aren't really big fish, so as long as you're using an adequate strength line, I prefer to use 20 pound braid and 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, you're gonna have no problem horsing these fish out of the structure without using any drag. I do it all the time. If you wanna loosen up and hear your drag scream, that's fine, but me personally, I'd rather put that sucker in the net. 